welcome to the Boston Roll channel. If you want to support my daily Eternal Magic offerings while getting amazing perks like the Boston Roll Discord community, have me play your deck on the channel, or list inside more guides before tournaments, check out the Patreon or YouTube membership program. This channel is possible because of these amazing sponsors. Check them out, all their links are in the video description. As always, thanks for being here. Let's go play some Magic. Welcome back to the Boston Roll channel. Today I'm playing Legacy at the request of Patreon subscribers Avocado and Veloris. And they have me playing Kill a Bee's Runehorn Hellkite Storm deck. Runehorn Hellkite is a card that was recently added to MTGO. I don't even know what set this is supposed to be from. It's just Treasure Chest on Moto. I'm sure it's some commander set or something. But uh, 5 mana, or 6 mana, 5, 5. 5 mana red. But that text, I hope, doesn't matter. If that text matters, we're in the danger zone. The important part is 5 and a red, so 6 total. Exile this from your graveyard. Each player discards their hand and draws 7 cards. Wheel of Fortune has an activated ability from the graveyard. That's important because an activated ability is much more difficult to counter than something like Echo of Eons, which is a spell. Whereas you would need something like Stifle to stop Runehorn Hellkite. And one of the big issues with these spin the wheel, see what happens decks, is that sometimes your opponent just has Force of Will. And a card like Echo of Eons, you have to use Lion's Eye Diamond and make yourself Hellbent to enable. And then if they counter it, you just have no cards left. Runehorn Hellkite, you have no such fear. As long as you have six mana and this thing in your graveyard, you can take a spin, you can Wheel of Fortune the table. And that's pretty exciting. As far as the rest of the cards in this deck, holy moly. Let's start delving into these. I have not talked to Killa B about this deck. I have played against this deck a couple times. Killa B is the person known for the Riddler combo, who continues to just do extremely well with this deck of their own design. I believe they got second in the most recent Legacy Challenge at the time that I'm recording this. Congrats, Killa B, continuing to put up damage with this thing. Making a name for yourself alongside people like Bryant Cook and Tony Scaponi, who just invented combo archetypes out of thin air and then became champions of them and put their money right where their mouth is. Riddlesmith combo is a thing. This is not Riddlesmith combo, though. There is one Riddlesmith in the deck, because how could we resist? But what's actually going on here is this is a pretty classic, and I say that with extreme reticence, a huge asterisk at the end of it. It's a classic kind of uh, wheel storm deck, draw seven storm. This is a age old vintage archetype. As long as Magic the Gathering's been around, we've had Time Twister and Wheel of Fortune and Dark Ritual and Black Lotus. And here is four, eight, 11 wheels in this deck. This is a deck that just has a bunch of one and zero cost stuff and wants to spin and spin and spin until it casts it all. Just very insane. You'll notice this is an 8 land deck. That should show you what this deck has in mind for itself. It is not trying to play a lot of turns of magic, and it's trying to leverage the wheels as hard as it can by dumping out zero cost cards. That's where being a normal deck ends. <laughs> so, there's one Grape Shot in the deck to actually win with. There's one Hall Bridger in the main deck. There's two more in the sideboard, where if we can get a Hall Bridger plus Wheel, we effectively win, because the opponent's Hellbent. We got a bunch of treasures and a handful of cards. You know, whatever. Good luck. But then, things get insane. Silence as a one-of, of of course. As you're spinning through your deck, you'll find a Silence eventually and be able to check their counter spells. and once the Silence resolves, you can just spin forever. Spirit Guide's a mana source. Gamble is a source of Runehorn Dragon or Echo of Eons or whatever it is you need. Noxious Revival. Cool thing about Noxious Revival. Put the top card or put a card from target player's graveyard on top of their library. Runehorn Spellkite. Runehorn Spellkite. LOL. I'm going to do that more than once. Runehorn Hellkite draws cards straight up. So that top card will still be there. So does Wheel of Misfortune. Echo does shuffle your deck, so it doesn't work the same, but. Eight of our 11 wheels, you can set up the top card. While you're wheeling, why not Dream Salvage? Draw cards equal to the number of cards target opponent has discarded this turn. If you wheel once or twice, my goodness, just old. Draw 14 for one blue, not bad. Or one black. I don't know which one is easier to make in this deck. They seem pretty comparable, actually. One Riddlesmith for when you're 
looting through your zeros, and one waste knot, once again, punishing the opponent for discarding cards. If you ever wheel with this thing in play, you're going to end up with a bunch of mana, a bunch of extra cards, and a bunch of zombies. That could also be a conceivable win condition. It's a bunch of spicy stuff, but the spiciest of all. Buckle up, kids. Intervention Pact. The next time a source of your choice would deal damage to you this turn, prevent that damage, you gain life equal to the damage prevented this way. Why is this in the deck? Let me tell you. Wheel of Misfortune. Each player secretly chooses a number, zero or greater. All players reveal those numbers simultaneously and determine the highest and lowest numbers revealed. Wheel deals damage equal to the highest number to each player who chose that number. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand and draws seven. This is not infinite life, but it is an unattainable number of life. If you cast Wheel of Misfortune, respond to it with Intervention Pact, and then choose one trillion, just number out of thin air, one trillion, an unattainable number of damage to, for a normal deck to deal in a game, you will then lose one trillion life, or you will take one trillion damage is important. It's not life loss, it's damage. That trillion damage will be prevented, and you gain a trillion life. And at that point, a lot of decks can just concede because they literally can't win. But then you also get to draw seven and keep storming. Crazy stuff here. As long as you can pay the one white white in your next upkeep, it's very hard to lose from a spot like that against any fair deck. And this thing is a complete wild ride. Good chance I'm going to mess up some sequencing with it. Uh, this thing is completely insane, but... I mostly get it. You draw seven, and you try to draw seven some more until somebody dies. And there's some weird choices along the way. And we're going to try to leverage them. Let's do it. This is Runehorn Storm. I'm on the draw in round one, and I don't think this one's a keeper. There's no LED. There's no way to pay out a gamble. My mana sources all require a card investment to get going, and I don't know what these Mistress Wobbles actually do. I'm going to mulligan this one. This is, I think, better, actually. There's no payoff, but there's three redraws. And I have actual mana to do stuff. I'm going to keep it and put Noxious Revival on the bottom. Oh, God. <laughs> it's the mirror. Dark Ritual. God, if I get Trina Spirit on turn one, game one, playing this stupid deck, I'm going to lose my mind. Opposition Agent. Okay. That messes up Gamble, but at least it's not Trina Spirit. Dream Salvage. Interesting. Bobble. Don't look at your top card. A thought sees. Okay, well, here comes the rest of my hand, and then I'm not going to play anything else. Unfortunately, I've already committed one bobble into this thought sees. All right, well, I don't mind that card getting seized. I could actually dream salvage in response, then they have to take Hellkite. I'm going to respond with some bobbling. Bobble you. Swamp in your hand. Bobble you. Orcish Bowmaster is my god. Uh, that is not a card that this draw seven deck is excited to play against. And I think it is important that Runehorn Hellkite ends up in the graveyard right now. That Bowmaster is on top of the deck, by the way. That's an important difference here. So Oppo Agent jacks up my gambles which is a core engine of the deck that's a huge bummer there's the swamp we saw crazy art swamp there never seen that one before okie dokie let's draw cards and hope they make six mana uh they don't one two three four five nope we're one short cool and now they get to draw orcish bow masters I just recorded a league recently. It might have even gone out yesterday. I'm not sure what my release schedule is going to look like, but I played against five black or four black stompy decks. Not five, but four is still a lot of those. It was like one pure reanimator, one reanimator initiative, and then two mono black card stompy decks. What a heckin' league that was. Intervention pack. What's up? Okay. Uh, there's that. If I had six mana, I could. Runehorn activate in response because this is not as a sorcery to Bowmaster, but unfortunately I cannot do that. 
I think that kind of spewed by just passing there and not putting it into play. An in intervention pact is just next time. It's not every time, so I can't just blank a bowmaster. I'm working on getting Lord of the Rings cards on the channel. Don't worry. Oh, there's that. And now I'm dead because it just sevens me if I use it. Jeez. I'm working on getting these Lord of the Rings cards on the channel. Don't worry. I have a bunch of decks planned. We're currently in the pre-release period. And I'm not that dedicated I have to lose a bunch of money to record a video with it. Okay, I feel like Hall Breacher is important because I need to actually win the game somehow. Chain of Vapor, Dismember, these all look like important cards to have. Silence is interesting. Surge Node answers Chalice of the Void on zero, which is, I have to imagine, is why it's in the deck. Do I think this is a Chalice deck? Good chance it is. If it is, what am I cutting? The Intervention Pack Wheel of Misfortune does insulate me permanently against Bowmasters. I just don't care if I'm at a billion. I think I need the Surge Node. It's a tutorable answer to Chalice. You can get it with Urza Saga and then move Chalice from 0 to 1 or from 1 to 2. And if you get multiple turns with it, you can really mess with the Chalice. Okay, I'm getting rid of Nox's Revival. Riddlesmith is ice cold to Bowmasters, no matter what. Maybe I just don't have room for these Hallbreachers. I should just try to go fast against the non-blue deck. Chain of Vapor, necessary. They're also probably going to be a Leyline deck. God, this is awful. And Silence. We've seen Oppo and Bowmasters, a number of creatures with Flash, but as a non-blue deck, maybe I just have to shove it. Okay, don't feel good about this, but here it is. Okay, keep. Leyline puts me in the garbage. Anything else, we're going. Yep, they mold to five and found a Leyline. Great. Okay, I have one out in my deck here. Bobble, bobble. And I think I just play all these th things out. And that sucks. <laughs> what a nightmare of a matchup. I'm out here trying to goof around a little bit, have some fun on Legacy, and people are like, guess what? Black Stompy. Chalice on zero. Okay. Correctly identified that was part of the plan. Thought sees me too. Why not? Two Dark Rituals. Oh, and I'm getting turn one. And I'm getting turn one. I'm rooting for you. Oh, that's so much worse. All right, well, bobble you twice. I was hoping for the, the helm there and genuinely turn one me. Is this game even winnable? Is this game playable? This is definitely a Twitter screenshot. <laughs> Yikes. And I just zap in my LED. Yep. Not winnable game. So I have to draw like exactly Chain of Vapor and Blue Land. Cool. We're done. All right. I guess I get one more draw step, but we're still done. Yep. What a satisfying round of Magic the Gathering. On to the next one. This video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, the easiest way to build Magic decks online. Moxfield supports over 30 formats, including Legacy and everything else you'll see on this channel. There's multiple customizations so you can interact with your deck how you want. Views such as text, grid, or stacks, and groupings like type, subtype, color, color identity, even artist. The site offers light mode, dark mode, and so much more. However you want to see your deck, Moxfield can provide it for you. Follow my Moxfield to keep up with the channel and what I'm playing in paper. I'll see you there. Lightwalker says hi everyone. Everyone say hi to Lightwalker. My hand, if I spin up a Lion's Eye Diamond, can be successful. And I hope that they are not a blue deck of any kind. I could also settle into a... Reasonable Urza Saga fair plan. Gross. That's those just sound like swear words coming out of my mouth playing this deck. A mold of five. Goblin Welder. Cool. Okay. Uh Spirit Guide Red Blast is still a problem. I could just Wheel of Misfortune instead. Maybe that's the line. Then Echo ends up in the graveyard and I can spin it up later. Okay. Yeah, I'll just start playing cards. Romox. If I exile the gamble, yeah, that, that has to be the answer, I think. And now we play chicken on this Wheel of Misfortune. I think I just say, like, 13. 
14, 15. How, how high do I think they're going to go? Do I think they're going to say 19, go to one and just die? Can't really do that in the face of Urza Saga. I'm going to go 14. Uh, they chose zero. Okay, cool. I went a lot harder than I needed to there, but that's fine. Lion's Eye Diamond. Dream Salvage. Let's see, I can echo here. Can I get Hallbreacher into play? What would it take to get Hallbreacher into play? Don't think it's there. Okay, Chromox, Exile, Dream Salvage. And then I can Echo here. Okay, I don't think it helps to gamble first. Okay, uh, blue, blue, blue. Echo. Please don't have Pyroblast. Cool. They have discarded zero cards this turn, unfortunately. LED, LED. Yeah, I think I'm just going to whiff here. Uh... I can draw some cards and then see what happens. There's a painter servant in their hand, and there's a goblin engineer on top of their deck. And I think the party's just over. And disappointing. Oh shit, I forgot to play out this bobble. That's a draw I'm just not going to get. Jesus. Whoops. I'll kite. Okay. And Echo. We're going to get another spin, and Hellkite pays out Dream Salvage. All right, let's see how they want to play this turn. They might just weld my LED into an Urza's Bobble, which is a way to cut a bunch of mana out from under me. Like your own Saga. I know you have Painter. I know you have Engineer. Rhinestone. Okay. Bobble you. Another Painter. Okay. Got one more card here. Chromox is a good one. Gamble's also a good one. Okay. Do I play out Saga or do I give myself outs for more colored sources? Do colored sources matter? I think colored sources always matter. Okay. Fire of Industry. And I'm going to float red. Play Opal. I don't even care if they welder. I'm doing everything I need to do right now. Bobble. There's a cool trick here. It's going to get blown out by Pyroblast, but there is a cool trick here, and I'm about to do it. Here's a Chrome Mox. Chrome Mox can exile another gamble. This hand is going to be spun away one way or another. Okay, they're welding my Mox into a bobble in response. Okay, cool. This, this is fine. Oh, in that case, I'm not going to exile anything to Chrome Mox. And then, okay, here's the cool trick. Make a blue. Target you with Dream Salvage. Hold priority. In response to this, rack LED or red. I still have a blue to echo with. Four, five, six. Activate Hellkite in response. Now they will have discarded six cards when Dream Salvage resolves. And this can be pyroblasted, but this is a sick line if it works. Oh my god, pyroblast, what? Okay. Let's wheel. There's an echo in my graveyard if I can get any additional action going. A bobble. LED. Can go spirit gut. I can gamble for the intervention pact. That's actually pretty sick here. Millions of mana. Okay, uh, red. I'm going to gamble for the, the intervention pact. Yeah, this works. Okay. And... Simeon Spirit Guide ended up in the graveyard. Oh no, this didn't work how I wanted it to. Uh, yeah, I I needed to... Yeah, Jesus. All right, I'm off by one mana now. Okay, we're just going to have to echo. Exile Spirit Guide, and let's take a spin on the old echo train. Blue, blue, blue. Echo. It would need a Spirit Guide Pyroblast of their own. And there's a Wheel of Misfortune. And a Riddlesmith. Okay, Riddlesmith can do stuff. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 keep going then. Bobble, loot. Discard this. Mycosynth Gardens. LED, loot. Discard this. Urza Saga. Uh, oh wait, there's a line here. So I can put Wheel of Misfortune on top of my deck. But then I can't win the wheel because they'll just pay more life than me. Okay, uh, I discard the saga. Hey, there's a 
a line where I can use Noxus Revival to do stuff here. I'm out of floating mana. I think what I want to do here is just discard Wheel of Misfortune because they can't win that wheel. And then I can Noxious Revival to stay alive. Just draw a bunch of cards, reload. Okay. <laughs> this, this has been an insane disaster. Yeah. Bobbling you a lot. Spirit Guides, Ancient Tombs, Mountains. And I guess I'm just going to pass the turn. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, messing up that gamble. I needed to pitch my Spirit Guides first. And that makes the gamble worse, but... Overall, it's it's better, I think, to do it that way. I have another Hellkite. I don't really care about Painter. I can not just revival myself and put a wheel on top of the deck if they Painter me, and then we just wheel the deck back. Painter in the graveyard. Ox Opal. Activating Grindstone targeting me. Oh, right, right. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Painter's active. That's how this works. Okay. Um... Uh, if they can counter my Noxious Revival, they're going to win. If they can't, we're going to take another spin on the Catwalk. On the Catwalk. And I want to do this in my upkeep. Noxious Revival targeting Echo of Eons. I'll pay the life. And now I draw this wheel. There's no cards in my deck for Urza Saga the Tutor. I'm not winning this game through damage. Let's party. Okay, um, Bobble, uh, you may draw a card. I'll decline, thank you. No. <laughs> Thanks for asking, though. Nope. Exile Spirit Guide, make red. Grape Shot, Storm is three for that. So I can Grape Shot some stuff on the way through here. Campbell is red and white, that's cool. But I'll make red and... Grape shot a bunch of these creatures. I can kill a painter and welder here. Or I need to kill the various welders. This will end up back in my deck. Kill painter and kill welder. Actual welder. And then I have to echo here. Blue. Red. Red. Both echoes should be in the graveyard. So even if they have one reb. Should be able to get the other one. Or have I used two already? Maybe I lost track of those. Uh, yep, yeah, that's actually all the Echoes. They exiled a Spirit Guide, but they didn't have a follow-up. I can gamble for a Dragon here, and now I'm actually looting for Profit with Riddlesmith. Let's do it. Discard Gardens. I saw the land drop. Maybe Gardens was supposed to be an LED there. We've made clear I don't know what I'm doing. Grape shot. Oh, that's almost lethal. Okay. Uh, if I discard Chrome Mox, and then I can. There, there's a trick here. I just have to figure out what it is. Um, if I just say no to all, or no to this one, and then I grape shot them, then I noxious revival, then I play bobble. Okay, yeah, that's a win. Figured it out. This is nine on the front. Then I'm going to Noxiously Revive it. And then I'll play Urza's Bobble and redraw that card. Uh, I am at 1, and they're a Lightning Bolt deck. If I do this, which, I mean, at 3, if they have Bolt, I'm dead. That would be a pretty savage slow roll. But uh, I have played into Bolt here quite successfully, I do say. Yeah, I am going to pay mana this time. Green to put Grape Shot on top of my deck. Versus Bobble, draw that one. Yes, discard Gamble. And that that's it. You have bolt or you're dead. These are the these are the things that could happen right now. Cool. Survived a painter blast. Nox's revival, too good. Okay, we're playing against Painter Servant. Hitting needle, haywire might. Of kinda into silence. And all their pyroblasts are pretty tough. Is this even how you engage with this matchup? Like, should I just try to murder them and play around Graveyard Hate while murdering them? Haywire Might and Chain of Vapor are my Graveyard Hate. And, like, Needle, I can name Grindstone to buy myself some time. Dismember can kill a Painter. 
Water pack and sometimes kill painter. I don't think that's how I want to engage with the matchup though. This is not a deck that cares about infinite life. They can beat me anyway. Though getting infinite life to make sure all your wheels, you actually win the wheel of misfortune. But I think I'm off it. And Echo is exposed to Pyroblast, but I'm bringing in Silence for that. This is not a deck that draws cards on its own, so I'll probably cut Hull Breacher and just try to storm them out. And I gotta cut one more. It basically can't be a mana source and can't be a wheel. Dream Salvage is another blue card. Alright, let's try it like this. This hand is not very good. It can play Haywire Might on 1, activate Haywire Might on 2, and then Saga and Tutor. This actually has enough of a plan that I'm in for it. Yeah, this, this hand plays around Leyline in a way that I'm happy with. Rhinestone, it's in there. Okay, Urza Saga. If they don't bolt my Haywire Might, I'm going to feel okay here. Mistress Bobble. What are you cooking with? Jesus. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Don't even have the decency to have it in your hand already. You have to let me look at it with the bobble. Insane. Guess I could have just waited a turn and played around all of this. Ugh. Yeah, if I wait a turn, then I can use Chrome Mox to power out the activation. Microsynth Gardens is my backup plan here. But okay. Uh, here's Chrome Mox, and I'm going to exile Echo, a card that is pretty bad in this environment. I guess I'm still bringing the heckin' ruckus here with my construct tokens. Well, Urza Saga Storm. Goblin Welder. Hopefully too late to the party here. I will make a mountain of constructs. I can't tutor Haywire Might because it's already gone. Another construct. Tutor for... What do I even want here? Probably Mox Opal. Yeah, that seems fine. Mox Opal, Urza Saga. I can play Waste Knot, and that's also a plan now. Bang. Weird as possible. And I'm not going to use my baubles. I'm just going to go full Saga Storm beat down here. Opponent kept a one lander on the strength of Leyline. Going to try to punish it. Got a bunch of moving pieces here. Got the welder active. But they can't weld me because I don't have a graveyard. Played around it. Another welder. Okay. Still don't care. My attack is lethal here. The Lotus Petal makes it even more lethal. As if more lethal is a thing. I think Garden says non-token. Yeah, bummer. I would love another Construct token here. Blocking because you have to. And they would just pay zero on a wheel, so there's not even a Waste Knot trick to be had here. They're not going to play Meltdown, right? Surely they're not. I'll push the extra point of damage through by making a construct now. Okay, opponent is mega dead. They have to assemble Painter and Activate Grindstone, a five mana line right now, or they have to board in some heinously cannibalistic bullshit like Meltdown. Way out of Fury range here. We got the GGs in the chat. Okay, cool. Yeah, game one was actually a genuine slugfest. Game two, we just had the sidestep for the hate. Nice. Let's go. You come here to level up at Magic. To level up as a software engineer, check out the new YouTube series Dev Better, hosted by the founder of 7 Factor Software and Magic player, Jeremy Duvall. 7 Factor's small teams of high-performing engineers build custom mobile apps, APIs, and highly scalable systems for Fortune 500 companies and ambitious startups with great ideas. If you'd like to hire 7 Factor or maybe join their team, Contact them through their website at 7factor.io. And don't forget to subscribe to 7 Factors YouTube for every episode of Dev Better. I'm on the play in round number three. If I gamble for Lion's Eye Diamond, I can go for a turn one spin here. I'm going to keep this, and I will gamble for LED. And if I play out the other one first, then I there's no miss situation. Cool. And the cool thing about being the dragon deck is if my opponent has force of will, they're not going to... All right, I have to win the gamble, of course. <laughs> but, uh... Okay. I want a Lion's Eye Diamond. 
And let's not see a Lion's Eye Diamond in the graveyard. Jesus. Straight to the graveyard. <laughs> All right, we're in slow motion. Okay, well, that went poorly. Ponder. The good news is I have a pair of Urza Sagas here. We can work towards a later situation. And once the Saga pops, I will have six mana if I don't draw a mana source this turn. Cool. Found a mana source this turn. Always had it, never worried, etc. Do I want to try to fish out a force of will with this wheel of misfortune? That's really interesting. I think I kind of do, actually. Or do I just take the guaranteed spin right now? Yeah, I can spin next turn also. And if I win the wheel and it resolves, oh wow, that just resolves so fast. I think I'm just going to say eight. Are they going to try to outbid me and lose their hand? I, I don't actually know. This card's crazy. Okay, they said five. I said eight. Cool. Got away with it. And now we can start the spinning. And I can do the Dream Salvage trick. I can Noxious Revival and LED the top of my deck before I discard my hand. There's that. Okay, here comes the trick. Dream Salvage, target you. Blue in the pool. Holding priority in response. LED for red. LED for doesn't matter because it's all going to go. And Hellkite. And then this Dream Salvage is going to be good for seven if it resolves. And I just drew another one. Sweet. Merciful Jesus. Oh, yeah. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. LED. LED. My brain cannot process all the things that are in front of me. There might be a better sequence than the one I'm currently going down, but I'm having fun. Yeah, probably having this Riddle Smith in play first would have been worth doing. Uh, I can... Oh, I can Hull Breach here. Exile Spirit Guide. Blue... Exile Spirit Guide. All Breacher. That resolved. Okay. Now we can breach them to hell. From Mox. Riddle Smith. Versus Bobble. And the Grape Shot is here. What does that mean for me? Uh, I guess I should cast it, right? Or would I rather draw a million more? Do I lose if I Dream Salvage? Uh, okay, so... They, I would draw 14 off of Dream Salvage, plus 7 from the thing. That's 21. Okay, no, I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay, target you with Dream Salvage. And then red, red, red. Red, red, red. Horn. This one's going much better than the last games. And I draw 14 here. Yes, 10 cards left in my deck. They have no cards to play. Oh, yeah. Uh, now I just... What do I do? Okay. I wait for them to concede, which they've done. Yeah, I, I guess I have to flash back an Echo and get to the Grape Shot somehow, is how we win this one. But also their Hellbent versus Hellbreacher and Double Urza Saga, so that would also win the game. Cool. We're against some sort of blue Narset deck. I was so busy looking at my combo, and then they conceded that I forgot to look at the graveyard. Uh, but... I, I remember seeing Ponder and Narset. That was... It's actually really bad that I didn't look at the graveyard. Brain on fire from how quick that went. I think I want Silence, Chain of Vapor, and my Hull Breachers. And... Suspicious of Riddlesmith versus Narset. Dream Salvage seems like a dream. Not actually. Oh, I, I don't care about Infinite Life in this matchup. I might be thinking about that wrong. Like, is this just for the life combos, or is it so you make sure all your wheels are actually wheels and nobody can outbid you? Unclear. No one will ever know. It will be, please answer in the comments. Thank you. I guess do I care about Chain of Vapor? Because Narset is the card that I'd want to bounce. I might have a rest in peace or play lines. Okay, maybe I do care. Can you go down a Chrome Mox? Is that even possible is it allowed is it in the rules yeah i think i am gonna cut a chrome mox go ahead tell me tell me how wrong that is but i don't see a better cut off the top of my head here and i do want my breachers in this hand is not good i'm gonna mulligan it opponent kept seven 
what a world they live in. This one has Saga and two redraws. I will keep this. Grapeshot can kill Narset if it needs to. I have to send one of these to the bottom. Eventually, Saga can get LED for this Echo. I think I have to send the Waste Knot as much fun as it is to keep a hand with Waste Knot in it. Volcanic Island, go. Smell a Pyroblast. Gamble. Uh, that would be good if I didn't smell this Pyroblast. This deck probably does have Meltdown in it, so I'm going to hold back my Lotus Petal. And I don't care what's in their hand, and they can't accelerate Narset that I know of. I will pass with what I have here. For Mishra's Bobble, I'd want to see this draw. For Urza's Bobble, I want to see their hand at the end of their turn. I don't really care what's in their hand in the middle of their turn. Nothing I can do about it. Please don't cast Null Rod right now. God, wait, mana. Lavinia. Wow, that's worse. Okay. Um, that card's good. Grapeshot kills her, but I need some work first. I need to find a red source that actually works. Counterbalance on in your hand and Meltdown in your hand. I was right. Mox Opal Lines I Diamond. Cool. We are so freaking dead. All right. Um, yeah, uh, there is no initial red source here. I would need a... What do I need to do with this? I need a spirit guide. That's what needs to happen. And even that is disastrous. Okay. Uh, well, I'll pass the turn. Any of these zeros I cast would be countered by Lavinia. Counterbalance, too. This is a hateful deck. Responsibly hateful, I dare say. And if they followed up with Narset, then we just got nothing. It's a fairy. I mean, that can bounce my saga, I guess. Do I care about that? I don't think so. Saga was not about... To, uh, I guess Saga gets Lotus Petal and starts the Grape Shot chain, so maybe I did care about that. I don't know. If they're not pressuring me, let's take our time hanging out here. I have eight cards in hand. I'm going to discard Echo of Eons. And yeah, if Saga Pops gets a Lotus Petal to start the initial mana chain, I can kill Lavinia with Grape Shot. Oh wait, I can't even cast Grape Shot if I don't have two lands in play. Oh no, this is a disaster. This is so much worse than I thought it was. I guess, yeah, nope. Just trying to... I guess I, actually bouncing that Saga was the best thing they could have done for me. It gives me a chance to find one of my other seven lands. Like that one right there. Okay. Oh wait, but when Saga pops, I won't have two lands anymore. What a shithole. <laughs> oh my god. Lavinia, uncool. Yeah, so I have to draw another of my six lands that remain in the deck at this point. Just for the chance to start doing anything. Forget about actually winning or getting there as a result, but just to start doing anything. Okay. Land? Nope. Okay. That, that's the end of it. Wow, that was ugly. Lavinia, huh? I had Chain of Vapor in, Slaughter Pact and Dismember. Slaughter Pact does not answer Lavinia, Dismember does. And the chain was already in. Do I have to go Waste Knot? That seems like just the clunkiest, weirdest card for the matchup. Yeah, let's go. Is it Storm? Man, Lavinia, jeez. Okay, uh, this one can Dragon. I'm going to keep. Okay, so LED, LED, Opal, Bobble, and Gamble. This is where they want to cast a counterspell if they're going to do it. I want to save the wheel just in case they force the Gamble. They did not force the Gamble. Okay. I'll kite to the graveyard. Chrome Mox, Exile, Wheel, and then... Red, 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 red. Let's take a spin. Lavinia, Force of Will, Blood Moon, Fairy Mastermind, all gone here. Petal, Opal, Opal. Okay, I can get a second wheel off here, or at least cast it. No one knows if it's going to resolve or not. Surgical Extraction, my LEDs. That's pretty potent against my deck, I'm not going to lie. And there's not a thing I can do about it at this moment. Yep, that hurts. 
If I had an LED, I would have led on it for that reason. Box, opal, the new one, red, opal. There's nowhere they would get priority here to exile opal with a second surgical. Red, red, wheel of misfortune. I guess I'm supposed to play out bobble. Yeah, it looks like they're forcing it anyway, but I am definitely supposed to play out bobble there. All right, force pitch and counterbalance. Bobble, and let's take a look. Prismatic Vista, and they get a land, that's lucky. Yeah, I get a redraw, silence. I don't actually know how completely devastating losing my LEDs is. It's certainly bad. Force negation in this hand as well, yuck. Yeah, LED would have been my best draw here. And instead, I do not get any real draw at all. It bobbles, bobbles. Their top card is this Force of Negation. I'm going to bobble their hand right now. Hope I don't see Prismatic Vista. Brainstorm is there. Okay. Need to find a Saga before I'm dead. That's, what, that's how I win this game. Another Island. Okay, they're still not playing the Prismatic Vista. Saving that one for Brainstorm, I guess. They already pitched a counterbalance. Let's look at your top card. Oh, they can get paid on Fairy Mastermind here. That's clever. But they didn't have it. Cool. Mycosynth Gardens. One, two, three, four, five. Up to five mana now. Bobble you again. Force of Negation. So there's two of those in the mix. Oh no, that, that was from hand. Okay, that's the same one that I knew about already. That's fine. Two gardens. If they play Narset here, I'm just in a bunch of trouble. I can't afford to silence to stop a Narset proactively. It's just not going to be good enough. Come on, mana source. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can cast Echo now, but I'd have to pitch an Echo to do it. And I know they have Force of Negation specifically, so that's not. That's a non-starter for me. They have a second Prismatic Vista in their hand. Cool. Not fetching in my end step. Why? I hate it. Chain of Vapor. Okay. This can do stuff. Am I in a spot where Chain of Vapor nets mana? Okay. Uh, some spell, please. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, time to math. If I... Cast Silence with Mox Opal, and then Chain of Vapor. Okay, so Silence plus one. Mox Opal's out of the equation. Float a red with Chrome Mox. That's one. Chain of Vapor off Lotus Petal. Bounce Chrome Mox and Mox Opal. One in the pool. Mox Opal, Chrome Mox. That's two, three, four, five. And then the other Chrome Mox. Yeah, I'm one colored spell short of, of doing this. I would have to exile my whole hand. I don't get to silence if I cast Echo this turn, but I think I'm so close to this doing what I needed to do that I'm just going to stick with it. Oh no, Prismatic Ending, no! That's bad. I hope they shuffle it away. Hide the information. Yeah, okay, shuffle it away. Uh, they got red. Meltdown's even worse. Maybe don't have that one either. Okay, Hall Breacher. This is a card I can just cast. And is very good. I know their hand has Brainstorm in it. Please cast it right now. Okay. I'm gonna go to my turn. There's a Hellkite. That, I can pitch a Chrome Mox without feeling too bad about it. Okay, I think the math I did last turn... I'm gonna do it again, because it would be really embarrassing to mess up. Silence off Mox Opal. Float red, one in the pool. Use Lotus Petal. Bounce, Chrome Mox, and Mox Opal. Still one in the pool. I have to float one with Microsynth Gardens because uh, I'm going to sack a land. So that's two in the pool. Three, four, five, six. Okay, yes, I can do all this. Silence. We know about Force of Negation. And if they try to brainstorm in response, I can go ape with this whole Breacher. There's Force of Negation. We were prepared for that. And then Chrome Mox. 
Oh, I guess I didn't need to do this yet, but it doesn't actually matter. It's all part of the plan. This gets me blue here. And I can go red, blue, colorless. Your hand is brainstorm. Oh, we don't know about that planes. Okay. Uh, chain of vapor. I go down to two in the pool. Three, four, five, six. Yes, this works. All right. Chain of vapor targeting Mox Opal. I can't brainstorm here. Sacrifice this land to bounce another Chrome Mox. I'm not going to go a third one because it doesn't actually make any mana here. Then Mox Opal. Chrome Mox. Exiling. Runehorn Hellkite. I'd rather have Hull Breach in my hand at the end of this if things don't work. One, two, three, four. Successfully counted to six. Let's see if it does anything for me. Force Pitching Brainstorm was their last cards. Okay. Well, they're down to one card, and I'm still holding Hull Breacher and Echoes in the Graveyard. So I can end step Hull Breacher, untap, flashback Echo, and that's a real plan here. Brainstorm, no! With this Hull Breacher just in my hand. I'm not going to flashback Echo. I don't think that's the play. I think investing in Hall Breacher is better. And they're going to be suspicious of this because I've just passed with the ability to Echo. Three cards in their hand. Hardcast Force of Will is available to them. Please cast a Ponder right now. Okay, end step. Regular old mana sources, Hall Breacher. And we go to my turn. Spirit Guide. I could take a gamble here. I could gamble for silence. No, that doesn't work. I'm a mana short. Okay, I guess I'll just echo then. Boring, but effective. Echo. Do we win? Red Blast Hall Breacher in response. Okay, that's fair. That is probably better than hitting the echo. And I'm going to pitch Spirit Guide before we take the spin. And spin we took. We've got a Wheel of Misfortune here and a bunch of artifact mana. Artifact, artifact. I'm going to look at one card in their hand at random. Brainstorm, okay. Another artifact. Spire of Industry and Wheel of Misfortune is going to be my play here. This is what we got. If they brainstorm, I'll Mistress Bauble also. Spell Pierce. I'm going to play it around it. That sucks. Yeah, I guess that doesn't make sense not to play around. At least play the opal out. So that sucks. Okay, well, let's rebuild once again. Brainstorm. That's a card I knew about that's now gone. And now I'm going to bobble you again. If you're smart, you put the Caracas right back. Medic Vista. Now I know. Multiple things. A bunch of cards. They did not. Fairy Mastermind in response. There's Grape Shot. That's a way to raw dog. What I really need is a Urza Saga. Narset. That's tough, but I do have the Grape Shot that can clear her if I need to. Force of Negation. That exiling my Grape Shot forever is tough. Not a lot of ways to win the game, actually. Mycosynth Gardens. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I'm just playing two Simeon Spirit Guides here. Bang. Storm is 1. Wow, they Force Willed this. Oh my god. Storm is 2. Simeon Spirit Guide. Cast it. And then I think I want to finish off Narset here. I don't want her getting any extra draws. Opal. Bloat. Red. Opal. Make red. Grape Shot. Target. Narset. I get six of these. I'm sending four of them at Narset and then two at the face. Just in case this Force Indication tries to save Narset at one. I don't know if they would do that or if they even have access to that, but I want to make sure Narset's gone. And I'm all in. Monkey Beats, you're on a five-turn clock. Force of Negation and Caracas don't save you here. Jet. <laughs> Another Narset. This has turned out to be an exciting match. To Fairy, that can bounce my monkey. That sucks. How about Urza Saga deck? Urza Saga. They're all in there. None have been seen yet. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's even better. Shiv and Dragon. Force of Will. Pitching Force of Negation. Disappointing. 
we're in trouble team if they have a day's undoing in the deck still we could get spun out here brainstorm tundra there's the brainstorm if they find literally anything to get anything going here they're doing fine Chain of Vapor is back in my deck. If I can bounce Narset there, I do have a graveyard with a dragon in it. Simeon Spirit Guide. You're coming back in, big fella. You're up. Go get him. Oh no, that's bad. Okay. Well, Matic Vista. Teferi plus. Teferi can minus again now. I think they just failed to find. Yeah, they failed to find a basic. They're all here. Saga, saga, saga. Monitors a saga. Please and thank you. Oh my god. Oh no, what's happening? No, they're undoing me now. Ah I can't have anything in this world. Okay, you got me. That was a sick match. GG's. Command Tower Software by Eminence Gaming is perfect for hosting TCG events. It features easy-to-create event registration for 1v1 and 4-player Swiss structure tournaments. Event management has never been so simple, and it's web-based, so there's no download required. Get access for just $5 at eminence.events. subscribe. I am on the play in round number 4. What does this hand do? It bobbles twice. They can gamble for LED, then I can copy LED and go for a spin. But I need a red source in order to do that. And I need to win the gamble on LED, which I've proven I'm not good at doing. Yeah, so Noxious Revival is insulation against losing a gamble. But the problem is that in order to gamble on turn one here, I would have to itch Noxious Revival to Chrome Mox to filter red through my gardens because I need the dragon. Am I in for this? What happens if I just go land, bobble, bobble, zap? I mean, redrawing a land or any red card is solid here. I'm actually going to keep this. Go ahead, tell me it's wrong. Obviously, it's on spec, but, you know, playing this whole deck is on spec. I'm going to get a feel for what's in their hand and what they're doing. Omniscience. Oh, baby. They're doing that. Omniscience and solve the experiment or solve the equation. Yes, solve the experiment. That's what you do with experiments. You solve them. Hashtag science. Okay, I'm going to pass the turn and hope for some red mana. Bobble and okay, that's red mana. Preordain. Okay, now I have to win my gamble for Lion's Eye Diamond. And they top bottomed their preordain. Chrome Box, Exile Wheel, and then Gamble for LED. And it went straight to the heckin' graveyard. What is going on here? Oh my god. It bobble you. Blooded Strand is on top of your deck. Gonna Noxious Revival my LED and pass the turn. I get to draw that right away from the bobble. I'm ready to go off next turn. This is why I don't gamble. <laughs> Oh uh, my god, and we're just dead. That was it, that was my turn. Just had to win a uh, five-card gamble. But instead, I'm getting turn two'd by show and tell. Could go off in response. Let's see, is this something where they deck themselves? Search library for an instant and or sorcery and reveal them, put it into your hand. So you solve the equation to get invert and invent, and then you invent a sorcery and an instant to your hand. Works to the second sun and... Another invert invent. This, yeah, and you just search your deck for that card again. Cool. Neat. Good stuff. Disappointing. I think the the spec that I kept the hand on was fine, but losing the gamble was was obviously just shit. Silence is coming in. And I think I'm just gonna try to go fast against this deck. Haywire might is something I can put in against omniscience. Do I even plan for that world? All Breacher if we get Scrappy. I'm not going to try to get Scrappy. Do you know what their deck does for 2 and a blue? Versus what this card does for 2 and a blue? It's not even close to competitive. I think I'm going to cut Waste Knot and a Dream Salvage. I'll leave one Haywire Might. No, that doesn't matter. If they have Omniscience in play, I lose. I'm just going to bring in one Silence. 
This hand gambles and then doesn't do anything with the gamble. Got them all again. This hand has all the LEDs but nothing to do with them. Got them all again this one as well. This one... Yikes. Uh, I think at some point I just have to keep a hand. I'm going to put away Mox Opal. And... Do I put the wheel away and just hope these baubles come up with some route to... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hope that these baubles come out with some route to Dragon. Either a gamble or a dragon itself. Bobble you. Brainstorm on top of your deck. Sure. Enjoy that. Another gardens. Or that's the first gardens. Ponder. Under shuffled. See what's on top now. Another island. Okay, how about a dragon or a gamble? Mox opal and versus bobble. Bobble, opal. And let's take a look at a card in your hand. That's information I don't have. Show and tells in your hand. Good to know. There's a wheel. I can cast that next turn. He says, hopefully, imagining the possibility of next turn. My best draw is Dragon. Echo is not a bad backup plan, though. Because now I can wheel. And then when they counter it, I can Echo. Red. Here we go. Wheel of Misfortune. They tapped a blue, then untapped it. I hope that's for Brainstorm and not for Flusterstorm. Okay, Brainstorm it is. They're looking for an answer here. I would certainly prefer Wheel of Misfortune which resolves, and then Echo's still in the graveyard to go again, then having to work through Force on the front end. They're fetching again. I hope we see another Brainstorm here. Flusterstorm. Storm is five. Yeah, this... I can spend both LEDs to pay for this. Oh, that's actually better, I think. Because if I just pay six for this thing, Echo's in the graveyard, and then we still have Wheel. Okay. Yeah, uh, blue, blue, blue. Red, red, red. And then I'm going to pay for all of these. Leaving uh, red in the pool. And then I have to say a number that will win me the, the battle. 14? I don't know, that feels safe. My opponent might just like their hand and want to keep it and just say zero or whatever. Bad. Yeah, they chose zero. I'm going way too hard on these things. Storm is five, and they kept their hand, which could not counter my last spell. So, Petal, Bobble, Spire. Do I play Spire yet? I might just not find another land. I think I do want to play this card. Spire. Romox pitching spirit guide is mana forever rather than mana for right now. So I'll spirit guide. And then I have one, two, three, four, five mana available. I can grape shot them for nine. And then echo. This plays into days, though, a card that I really don't want to lose to from this spot. I'm going to Exile Spirit Guide. And then... I guess I want to Bobble. Just see what's in their hand. Alright, Island. Still a card I knew about. I think having more mana available is better than... The alternatives anyway here. Okay, let's take an Echo Spin. Did they Sandbag a Force on me? They did not. There's another Echo. But... This... Failed to go anywhere. Bobble. Show me a card in your hand. That Snow Covered Island is still there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can echo next turn, but tough beats. My opponent has not discarded any cards this turn. Yeah, I didn't wheel successfully at all. Okay, two fresh ones coming. We might just get show and told and die here. We did just give them a fresh seven. There's Gamble. Nice of you to show up. Okay, they have three mana showing. Mox Opal, another one. Petal turns on my Opals. And I'm going to gamble first. Do I want Dragon here? Can I do the trick? Yes, I can do the trick. Yeah, I want Dragon. Okay, uh, Echo of Eons. Oh, right. Uh, I forgot I don't have an LED, and Dragon doesn't just go straight to the graveyard. There's an Echo of Eons, though. That's a good one. A uh, blue opal, 
blue, opal, colorless echo from the graveyard. And that gamble would have been a lot better as Entomb than it was as Gamble. The one time I want to lose my gamble. Yeah, plays like that make it clear that you know, there is a muscle memory for Magic the Gathering, and then there's a muscle memory for Legacy, and then there's whatever the hell's going on here, which is just a totally different thing. Okay, another gamble, another wheel of misfortune. Is my intervention pack still in the deck? I think it is. It is. All right, cool. And Bobble, here I am diluting my, my gamble again for reasons that make no sense at all. There's a Flooded Strand in there, and okay, I'm going to gamble before I play any more cards for no reason. And I would like a Lion's Eye Diamond here. Lion's Eye Diamond straight to the graveyard. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I can put Echo of Eons on the stack straight up here. Chrome Mox. Exile Wheel. Lotus Petal. One, two, three, four, five, six. Echo of Eons. Hard mode. Thousand point fluster storm. Yep, fair enough. That's still in the graveyard for next turn. If there is a next turn. Your hand has Flooded Strand in it, and you're drawing Omniscience. Okay, please don't have a show and tell. Okay, party's over. Bobbles are not going to get me through this game. Reordain? Okay. Someone doesn't have show and tell yet. I have messed up their hand multiple times. Oh, they top bottomed. They found show and tell immediately. Yep, cool. This I'll put in Bobble and see if I can somehow survive this Omniscience. <laughs> nope. Okay, cool. GG. Uh, I continue to be incapable of gambling at all. I did. By my own admission, the, I did want to peek at their hand with Ursa's Bobble, just in case I saw Force of Will, but the Mishra's Bobble did not need to be in play. That was just whatever percentage that cost me on the gamble. But still, I've lost 3 for 3. Gamble for Lion's Eye Diamond in 4 or 5 plus card situations. Rough beats. For the absolute best Magic the Gathering apparel on the market, check out the link in the video description to coalesceapparel.shop and be sure to use the code Boston Roll for 10% off when you check out. I'm on the draw in the final round. I have an Echo that I can fire. One mana source. Oh wait, do I have an any? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, I have Dragon. Okay, cool. We're safe. If they're a non-blue deck, I'll Echo and float some mana. If they are a blue deck, I'll Dragon. At the pedal and the LED turn on the opal. A oh, windswept teeth. That's a good start. Please don't get tundra. All right, Savannah. Mox diamond. Uh oh. Oh no, this green white lands with the spheres in the main. Please don't be that. This casts open library or some shit I don't care about. I don't think this deck can beat a sphere. Guarded Bajuka Bog. Sylvan library. Heck yeah. That card sucks. Okay, let's let's go for a wheel. Another chrome box. Okay, so Lotus Petal. Oh, don't pause like you have something. You're a land deck. Resolves, resolves, resolves. Chrome box. I can pitch Intervention Pact if I don't think I want that ever again, which might be true. So this might be the game where that's a thing I can do. I might just want to pitch Spirit Guide forever. A spirit Guide is better than Intervention Pact, but I kind of want to do the thing for the video. Now, I do think it's better to exile the pack, though. Okay, here's all my things. Exile Spirit Guide. Echo of Eons. Off we go. I'm going to leave red in the pool. And there's Wheel of Misfortune. Disappointing. Uh, but there's, there's a Hellkite. Not currently do anything with that. Waste not. What happens with Waste Knot? I can play Gardens, play Waste Knot, play Opal, play Wheel. If I make black here, it's Waste Knot. Yeah, sure. You're a Mox Diamond deck. Maybe you'll just discard something all on your own. Then another Opal. And one. Is it better to leave Gardens up in case I find LED? I think it's probably better to spend my Lotus Petal here. 
And Wheel of Misfortune is fun because I can pay, what, one here? And I either wheel or they pay, like, two. And wait, can I force them to wheel? Each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand. Oh, I can force them to wheel if I just play zero. Each player who didn't choose the lowest number. Oh, no, no, no. If we both choose zero, nobody wheels. Is that possible? Is that how this card works? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to pick one. I suspect they'll pick zero. Oh, okay. Uh, they picked 19, which... Uh, they were just trying to beat the wheel, but now I get to waste knot them into the friggin' earth. And they discarded so many lands. Does this do anything? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have... Make a zombie, make a zombie. Oh no, I missed my draw stack. I needed to put wheel back on top. Shit. Okay, fuck. Excuse the, uh, the endless profanity in this video. This, this deck has broken my brain and my soul. And my heart. And everything else about me. Mistress Bobble, you. Wasteland on top. Okay, well, in that case, probably gonna do this anyway. Red, Flame, Runeborn, Hellkite. Here's this card. And I can't quite silence you, so I will pass the turn. Yeah, I, I just missed the, uh, Noxus Revival, pick up wheel, wheel again. The, the Waste Not Draw card trigger just ended up in the wrong spot. There's so much to keep track of here, oh my god. Opponent's at one though, and I have three creatures that are lethal. Grape Shot's in my deck somewhere. Top card is Wasteland. It's actually pretty good. I don't have three artifacts to turn on Opal. If they waste me, I have to win this game on white. Silence might do it. But they have to stabilize against all three of these creatures and then also beat whatever happens next. Dried Arbor's a blocker. Also, we see now that they are green-white depths. They're not lands. They could have Swords of Plowshares. That would suck. Oh no, white man in the pool. Stop it. I am distressed right now. If I return Opal to my hand, does that do anything? I don't think so. Lotus Petal lets me... Nope, still can't echo, because I'd have to discard. I gotta draw LED, is what I have to do. Riddlesmith. You look like you're cool, but you're not cool. If I attack, they lose Dryad Arbor. And I'm gonna do what I can do here, at least. Yep, Dryad Arbor's dead. Long live Dryad Arbor. And my... Opal is not on right now. I'm going to let them resolve their Sylvan Library, and then I'll silence them. They can't fetch land. There's a lot of stuff they can't do here, including take an extra card off Sylvan Library. But this Elvish Reclaimer will start winning the game eventually. They silence. If they wasteland me, I can just turn Gardens into a Chrome Mox, which isn't great, but it does turn on Mox Opal. Like so. Copy Chrome Mox. There goes the Wasteland. Not a non basic land anymore. Got him. Okay, so I can start riddling here. But Bajuka Bog's back in their deck now. So if I Noxious Revival, would they bog right away? Kind of want the Mistress Bobble for the. Okay, well, they can't actually bog me because they would die in combat. Oh my god. Bog me. Bog me, daddy. What is going on? <laughs> uh, they realized what they've done and conceded the game. Got him on the hook for that one. Cool. Okay, green-white depths is my opponent right now. I think needle seems reasonable. Chain of vapor seems reasonable. And I think that's all I want to do. Dismember and Slaughter Pact. They are a deck full of creatures, but I kind of want to just smear them. Do I even care about Silence? I don't think so. Silence is out. Crop Rotation is the only instant that I care about that I can think of right now. 
the waste knot was great that game would have been better if i uh you know did it right but there's always room for improvement this is a deck that both can't interact with the stack and can't beat infinite life so i'm gonna keep intervention packed in this is one of the last games of the league maybe we'll get a chance to do it Iroblast is a card they can have Collector Oof, right, right, right. No, they're a Green Sun Zenith deck with Collector Oof. This member and Slaughter Pact have to come in. I think I'm off Hall Breacher. I'll just let it rip. Got a Chrome Mox and a Dream Salvage. Okay. This is close enough to making sense that I'm in for it. This hand does not do anything. It has the a combo in it, but only one, not even one mana. It has zero mana. Then this one away. Is this the same hand? It's very close. Yes, and this one away too. Okay, I think I have to keep this one and send away. They might have ley lines, in which case, Echo is bad. I guess I'm going to get rid of a bobble and a grape shot. All right, I'm going to try it like that. If they have ley line, okay, they didn't have ley line. LED is alive and well as a top deck. If I kept Grape Shot, I could kill the Salvish Reclaimer right now, but I'm going to hope I don't care about it. And just draw LED, like we said. All right, here's Gardens, LED. If I play the Lotus Petal, I get Mind Break Trapped. I really hate losing this value, but I hate losing the Mind Break Trap even more. I'm headed to MTG Goldfish to see if my Break Trap is in the list. So let's the Adepts. I'm looking at a list that went 6 to one Oh, this is Mapsen's list from SCG Con. Okay. There are no Mind Break Traps in there. And I'm looking at two other random lists. None of them have Mind Break Trap. Okay. I'm fully committed to going the nuttiest here. Exile Simeon Spirit Guide. Gardens, copy, LED. Enforce of Vigor. Kind of works here, but not really. Yeah, I would actually invite a Force of Vigor. Cool. Float red and blue in response. And then, oh shit, this just played into Surgical and Endurance by backing it up like this. Oh, that was bad. Okay, please don't have those cards. Clear the stack. Clear the stack. All right, cool. Stack's clear. All right, leave a blue and a red floating and take a spin. No mind break trap, no problem. Riddlesmith. Let's go. Riddlesmith is on the stack now. Bobble, draw, discard. Uh, I think I'm going to bend the waste knot. I would like to go as deep as I can with artifacts right now. Bobble. Spire. Yeah, you're gone. LED. Come on, deck. Show me the dragon. There's a saga. I don't think that's how I win this game. They're a wasteland deck. Pro Mox. Show me the dragon. Show me the dragon. Opal. Okay, I'm discarding Simeon Spirit Guide. And I'm not going to exile to Chrome Mox. No, I might need this Spirit Guide for looting purposes. Riddle Smith. Show me the dragon. Another Chrome Mox. Okay, uh, and I can loot again and get a card deeper, even though it's not making mana. I think that's that's fine. There are plenty of instances where mill one is perfectly fine for my deck. So, uh, but they get to Bajuka Bog before I can dragon effectively. One, two, three, four. I only have four mana. Tilt. That showed up a little too late, and now all their graveyard hates on. Endurance, cool. Joke's on you, I couldn't use that anyway. Endurance pitched Collector Oof, wow. Yeah, get rid of that. How is that in exile? Or was that pitched to the Force of Vigor? I don't even know. Whatever. I'll take it, whatever just happened. Collector Oof is in exile. Wasteland, disappointing. Bobble, Fox Diamond, okay. So I get to redraw two here. And we're into scrappy mode. 
wasteland's going to work this time because I can't copy in response because I'm tapped. But if they do that, then it taps out their reclaimer so they can't bog or anything. Gamble. Uh, yeah, they better wasteland me. Or they're getting dragoned. Figured it out. So I'll just echo them instead. Fine. Ox Diamond, discarded Taiga. Please don't have a second collector roof. No way you have two of those. Don't believe it. I would call Richard Garfield directly. Tried that on me. They can Pyroblast here, though. That Mox Diamond's a, a bummer. Micah Synth Gardens. Lotus Petal. I get a loot here. Discard Intervention Pact. Yeah. Okay. And I guess if I copy LED, I can just Dragon, and then I don't care about Pyroblast. Gamble. I'm gonna gamble for dragon. Just entomb that buddy. Draw seven guaranteed. Rune horn hellkite into the graveyard. Red, red, red. Red, red, red. Straight to hell. Kite. They're thinking about pyroblasting my riddle smith right now. I think that's what this pause is. Riddle smith is worth a lot, but so is the possibility of echo. So I am on board if they want a pyroblast here. Cool. We're back in there with a Wheel of Misfortune. And we get some looting going. Okay, they did not have Pyroblast. They had crop ro They had two crop rotations. That's what they were thinking about. Oh my god, Dream Salvage. I'm going to disc discard Saga. That's not what this game is about. Mox Opal and... I'm going to go for just the, the draw million right now. I think it's a draw four. It's not that many, but it's still pretty good. Better than Ancestral Recall. That card sucks. Ooh, a white spell's on the stack. Swords of Plowshare is my Riddler. Fine. That turns them off of Pyroblast. I only have to respect Crop Rotation, Endurance, and Force of Vigor at this point. All of which are respectable cards, but that feels good. Okay. Diamond, Diamond, and then I just have to win... A Wheel of Misfortune battle, which I think that I can. I mean, I know that I can. I have, I literally just have more life than them, which is all that matters in that world. Or Savigar targeting my LEDs. That's disappointing. Maybe I sequenced this badly. But yeah, those are gone. I cannot use them for what I want to use them for here. That Force pitched an Elvish Reclaimer. Storm is nine. I think I'd rather have this Spear Guide under the Chrome Box forever. Get rid of that. And then I'm going to bobble them, see what they would draw post-wheel in case it matters. Savannah. Okay, I'm going to wheel here. Do I just say 20 so they can't win? I mean, that turns off Noxus Revival. And there's only one LED left in my deck. And if I say 20, they can just attack. Yeah, this is a risky situation. Surgicaling my LEDs? No! Well, luckily most of them are gone already. Only one left. Well, that makes it easier to win the battle. I can say 18 on Wheel of Misfortune and still be at 1 if they attack me with Elvish Reclaimer. Would they just say 17 here? I think I would. They saw my hand. They know that if I don't wheel, I lose. Yeah, I think I'm just going in for 17 here. Or do I have to say 18 to actually win? Yeah, this is a tough level system, but I'm going to take the short thing. Say 18, I go to 4, I win the wheel. They pitched a Dryad Arbor already to one of their pitch spells, so crop rotation for Dryad Arbor is not a lethal line here. I'm likely to get one more turn, even if I whiff here, which I 100% did. Okay, I guess I'm going to pass the turn and hope for the best. Yep, off we go. I'm going to have to slaughter pack the elf next turn and let Urza's Saga stabilize me. It's not a good scene. And it's a scene that dies to any sort of force of vigor because then I can't pay for my pact. Oh, Seiju. Yep, uh, correct. Well, they just saw my deck, so they know that this is not going to find a land. I'll take a look at my deck, though, since we're in here. Okay. 
Yep, those are a bunch of cards that are still in there. The Grape Shot's still there, which means we still have a chance. Wasteland, shit. Now I need an Artifact Mana Source. Oh, they didn't attack me. That's lucky. Did they see that I'm at four? Weird. Okay, I'll take that. I don't know what that was, but I'll take it. And... I think I have to float the Spire of Industry out into the Wasteland. I can't tap it for black, unfortunately. A spire at all. I could gamble here. What am I trying to gamble for? I'm trying to gamble to put Echo Vians in my graveyard. Runehorn, Spellkite. Spellkite. Hellkite is better there, too. Uh, so I think I just want to get a Mox Opal. Get a stable source of mana going. And discarded an Urza Saga here. Mox Opal will go in. Then I can play Waste Knot. Here's my Waste Knot. Now if they play a Mox Diamond, I get a boost of mana. I can pay for Slaughter Pack now. One, two, three, four, five. Still a mana short of playing Dragon as 5-5. Five, five. Okay, uh, this is the time... I might end up losing to this pact, but I have to cast it. I have three mana independent of the Wasteland. And if I can take the pressure off, then this Saga gets time to set up and work. If they crop rotate for Sajiri Step to save this thing, then I don't have to pay for pact. I'm still dead on board, but at least I forced some sort of interaction. There's the Savannah. There's the Wasteland. Two cards left in their hand. We get to my turn. The upkeep is when I have to pay for Pact. That's also the earliest. They can force a Vigor, so that's pretty safe to do. Yes, I'd like to pay for that so I don't lose the game. And Urza's Saga as the thing where the dust settled. Please don't have another Wasteland. Okay, F6. Can Urza Saga win this game from here? There's a Savannah. That's not a Wasteland. They do have the Red Splash. I guess Meltdown could be possible. We're in my turn. We're in my main phase. Saga triggered. Oh my god, okay. I am gonna bobble. I think a redraw here, and the information is worth more than plus one on my tokens. That's being stage. That's a dangerous one versus Urza Saga. A 21 cards left in my deck. Even if they besage you me, that is discarding a card. And getting black black doesn't really do a lot for me here. Yuck. Yuck. Alright, well. Make a construct on the way out. And if nobody casts a spell for the rest of the game, I'm winning it. This Thespian stage just got rid of the best thing it had to copy on board. This is where they play Dark Depths from hand. Got him, GG. Stage. They begin the beats. That is all my sagas. We're basically out of options here. All my sagas, all my LEDs. Oh no. Just missed the damage. Just fucking counting in my head how much mana I have and ignoring the fact that that's good for damage. So bad. Okay. I will pass the turn now. It didn't crop rotate into Dark Depths in the end step. That's good. I'll take any win I can get here. That's not a win. So what do I have to do here? I have to get to six mana and cast Echo. Can my deck still do that? God. Uh, okay. Um, this is basically a can't lose gamble. Because all these cards I'm happy to put in my graveyard, including this other Echo of Eons. I guess now the hero mode is do I grab my last Mox Opal and hope to just hit literally anything else? Yep, doing it. Cool. All Kite is in the graveyard. Box Opal's in my hand. One, two, three. Mana available. It'll be four next turn. Happy to have this Opal accessible to me. Wild times around here. Don't cast anything. Stop. Stop. Put your mana away. You don't have stuff. Put it away. Put, like, Windswept Teeth into play. Pass the turn. That's all you got. That's all you need to have. Enith for three. This looks bad. What do they get ramming up and waste me out here? Endurance, just clear the dragon. Knight and just float lethal. That one up Riddler would be great here. Too bad it's already in exile. 
Oh, Lone Liberator. Okay. That one's a beating. I can stop it from becoming nighttime for the turn with Opal. Okay, Opal and Bobble. I think I'm going to save Opal for the following turn. Get to see the last card in their hand. Swords of Plowshares. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yep, four is not enough. Still not enough. Four does not, still doesn't equal six. Flash and roll math. You're welcome. Another echo. Stop it. Oh, Gamble's actually a reasonable draw for me. That gives me a 50 50 chance to discard the echo. Are there any gambles left? I think there's one still in there. It's going to become nighttime. If I can cast two spells, I can make it daytime again. Oh my god. Well, I can cast two spells. Mox Oval and Wheel of Misfortune. Here it comes. I am going to lose this wheel, but I have to do it. I'm, and I'm going to say the maximum number, which is five. Okay. They're just going to name six when the wheel have a fresh grip. This does flip the trapper back down. Yep, they just said six. But I have Waste Knot in play. Do you remember that card? That gives me a zombie and a draw. That was exciting. Through another Hellkite. Yeah, Waste Knot as the old backdoor punish for winning a wheel. Shame there's only two cards in their hand. Liberator is back into a 2-2. Zombie can trade with it if they attack, which I don't think they're going to cast any spells this turn. Whoa. Attacking with this thing. Going to block this so fast. Block. Your 2-2 two -two and my 2-2. Two -two. Can trade in combat. It might just pick off Opal here and let me have the zombie. I don't know. Yeah, picking off Opal, letting me have the zombie. Makes sense. Now they're tapping mana during blocks. I assume they mean second main. And the mana they tapped represents neither Aquary. Untapping their mana in combat, as you do when you accidentally float mana in combat. Second main, and it's Knight of the Reliquary. Off return, Bobble. Let's just keep flipping. Genuinely no idea if I have an out left. Well, there's Dark Depths. We're dead next turn. Knight was going to represent Dark Depths anyway, so that's kind of a blank draw. Got him. Oh my god, the Grape Shot's here. I can't imagine there's any universe where I'm able to leverage this, but it's here. It has arrived. Uh, definitely blocking. What do I need to do? I need to draw Gamble. Gamble for Lotus Petal. Gamble has to miss on Lotus Petal and discard Echo. And then I have exactly enough to play the game with. Oh my god. I don't even know if I have a Gamble. I only see three. It doesn't matter enough for me to check it. Oh man. I'm not getting another turn here. But if I were, that would have been a card that is helpful in it. Okay, I'm just going to pass the turn, let them run out some clock. We are both in the seven minute range. This has taken the full range and we have a game three to play. I think, I think this is game two. Not going to lie, I may have lost track entirely. Okay, the old 12 turn game. Yeah, having your LED surgicals, a pretty tough beat. Between Endurance, Force of Vigor, and Surgical, maybe I do need Silence, especially if I'm going to try to go fast. We did see Collector Oof, that's confirmed. I think Needle can get out of here. What's that going to name? Wasteland? I don't care. Uh, the real answer to that is Reclaimer or Knight, so they can't bog me mid-combat. But still, I think I want to go faster than that. And I'm not going to cut a Mana Source. Still have hopes for the intervention pack. Maybe I'll go down to one silence and rock it like that. Here we go. Here's my deck. Fingers crossed. Party time. This one cannot do what I need it to on turn one. Yep. So close. Three, four. Yep. Mulligan. Same problem. Mulligan. Same problem. Uh Oh, this one. Nope. Can't even gamble because... None of these are red to pitch to Chrome Mox. Okay. Straight to four. Come on, deck. Uh, is a three going to be better than this? Maybe. There are threes that, that just rip. Yeah, okay. I'm going to mulligan to three. 
Oh god, if I go to two and it's exactly LED echo, I actually feel fine about that in the matchup. But if it's not exactly that, we're just so dead. But what does this hand even do? Nothing? Yep, go to two. LED echo, come on. Yeah, okay, keep. One, two, three, four, five. There it is. Don't have a ley line. LED. You know what's coming. Force does not interact with this. Endurance does not interact with this. We're just right back in the pocket. Don't think there's anything there that can do about that. Cool. And there wasn't. Gamble. I can gamble here. Does that do anything? I think I just play Saga and pass. Sucks to do against a Wasteland deck, but it's still good. They have just been flipped into a 7 that they did not keep on purpose. No promises that it interacts or does anything or even has a land in it. We'll never know. Else on zero. What the shit? This is a card you have? Oh my god. I'm in so much trouble. This Lotus Petal could be in play, but it's just not. Uh, Chain of Vapors in my deck. But it's going to be really... I, I have to tutor up an artifact just to... Well, that's bad. Chalice on zero. Come on! Mapson, what are you doing? And I don't have my Surge node in because that's not a thing I was playing around. And the Saga is ready to pop, which would shut this off. Not only shut it off, but not only open up Chalice on zero, but would turn off their crop rotation source of plowshares, all their ones. Ugh. Okay, so I have to float. I might as well float green. There's a green card in my deck, sure. Load of green. Tutor some artifact here. Something that turns on Spire of Industry. I guess LED is probably just the best one, no matter what. LED. And then I can gamble. I should play my land first, and then gamble. I can echo here, or I can get the chain. Whatever. We're going to echo. Lotus Petals in the graveyard. This is simply not getting better for me ever. Echo. They can't pyroblast with what they have. And that is a bunch of cards I can't play. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, I've already made my land drop. Okay. That's the turn. Riot Arbor is their land for the turn. Urza Saga is my play for the turn. And then Filter of Black here. Play Waste Knot. This gives them two hits for Force of Vigor. I might just rip that off. Urza Saga is the only reasonable way to win the game here. They're also a Wasteland deck, though. Who knows? Yep. Hi. Hi, Wasteland. What's up? Wheel of Misfortune, now one of my best draws. Even that takes some setup, though. Okay, no longer takes some setup. I'm ready to Wheel of Misfortune, if that becomes a thing I can do. Chain of Vapor, also a good draw here. Simeon Spirit Guide. I'm not ready to start casting these. God, that Surge Note would be busted here. Tells the Void was just not on my radar as a card they might have. I felt like I saw most of their deck last game, and... Chalice was not part of it. Blast zone. Okay. Hacked. Alright, well, I can go to discard and drop the echo here. It's better off there than it is anywhere else. It's a jerry step, hell yeah. Get that dried arbor in there. Need a wheel of misfortune. Come on, stop. Okay, uh... I guess I'll... Play this Lotus Petal and pass the turn. It gets countered, but better countered than discarded. That's what I always say. Storm is one. Moral victory. In the second I draw a fourth land, I'm casting one of these spirit guides. But we're currently not in that world. Base of Ith, okay. What are these seven cards in your hand if you're not winning the game? Okay. Um probably Pyroblast is one of them. Uh I just have to try to let it rip here. It's not getting better. Easily pyroblast me, and off we go. How about that? They could also let this resolve. Let me dump out my stuff, let me discard my hand, and then pyroblast the echo. <laughs> or surgical echo in response. Uh, yep, okay. Now Chain of Vapor bounces this thing, and it doesn't matter. And I can dump out all my LEDs. That does matter. 
they can sack a land to bounce Waste Knot if they want to. That doesn't seem worth doing to me. They also have 2 minutes and 49 seconds to deal 14 damage to me. Well, they are they are copying it. Sure. Not sending it back again. And let's get these zeros down where they can be Force of Vigored. But at least they're in play. And I'm going to cast one of the Spirit Guides. Here we are. Wheel of Misfortune, still a fine draw for me. Swords of Plowshares. It's two extra turns on the clock. Dragon's a solid draw. God, what is all this? Yep, okay. Hard cast, Force of Vigor. Yep, that's how Chalice and Zero works. And it's back. And I'm back to wanting Wheel of Misfortune. From Mox that cannot be cast. Filter of Black. Play the Waste Knot and pass the turn. I can pay for Slaughter Pact with Simeon Spirit Guide. That can filter mana if they get some big creature into play that I need to remove. Oh, now they have Wasteland, so that's not a thing. Wasting my Gardens, okay. And Zenith for three. Knight is the biggest creature they have. I draw a mana source. Uh, one of my lands, one of my four lands left in my deck. I can pact. Oh my god, let's go. Okay. Exile, Simeon Spirit Guide. They have three cards in their hand. I might as well play the Chrome Mox. Just building Storm here. And we'll... Have, oh wait, I can't pact because there's freaking Chalice. Okay. Um, I'm going to pay two life. All right, they chose 14, which means I get to draw two cards and make mana, uh, which does not actually help my game plan. Okay, they're at three, and I'm mostly dead. They just need to attack a couple times in the next one minute. Yeah, they're going to be able to do that. Yeah, the Surge node tech was there. I just was not able to reach for it. Got me with a surprise sideboard card in game three. Salvage, uh, thanks for showing up. Okay, I am dead on board. We took that one to the wire for no reason at all. Okay, so in memoriam here, we did not reverse trophy. I fended off that by winning round one. There were certainly some spots where I could have made decisions differently. There were some spots where my 80% gamble could have gone my way instead of the 20 percenter. I don't exactly know how to sideboard with this. I'm sure Killaby would have done slightly better in this league than me. But still, we did a lot of cool stuff. We did most of the things the deck does. We never got to Intervention Pact or Wheel. That's sick. But we did Riddle. We did Dream Salvage. We did Dragon. We did Echo. We did Saga. We did all the other things that the deck does. Waste Knot, Hallbreacher, everybody showed up to party. And we showed how crazy grindy this deck that looks like it does exactly one thing. But we played a lot of like 10, 12, 13 turn games that we were still live in with reasonable draws. That's pretty cool. This deck was. And it's still pretty meme -y, but it's not like. LOL force check GG. It's actually really good. And I think that's a sign of the. Urza Saga core. It's just that Tony Scaponi Saga Storm, Riddle Smith Storm, just uh, that Urza Saga at the core of a deck that needs to play a ton of artifacts to function anyway. Just gives you so much. And I love this card, genuinely. I think it's awesome in every form that it's legal in. And it makes decks like this possible to exist. I don't think this deck is great for what it's worth. I would rather just play the Riddler, the actual base Riddler deck. I'd rather play Black Saga Storm. I'd rather play the Epic Storm. The Runehorn Hulk Fate being, air quotes, uncounterable is pretty dope, but also it costs twice as much as Echo, so give and take on that one. And that is my feedback for this deck. I'm glad I played it once. I'm not going to play it again. I'm glad it exists. Kill it, B. Keep doing good work out there. Avocado and Valoris, thank you for sharing this with me and with the channel. Everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Patreon. I'll see you next time.